Hey fellow world dwellers, it's Angry Turtle and today, because it's a double experience weekend, I'm showcasing up to date the best way to extract maximum of experience from super mutants. So if you missed my previous guide how to stack all the buffs, how to craft mass produce nuka grenades, because that will be needed in here. You can check them out. I will try to like a pin comment with all the links. There is multiple guides, so I want this to be nice, sweet and short, so I will avoid repeating all the information. Basically, all you need is full boost to experience all the stuff that you can apply, like bare mentats, uh, intelligence boost from your camp, the sleep buff, the lift and laugh free if available, bubble head if possible. I mean, you don't absolutely need everything, as at some point you will hit the cap, and cap is currently 4000 experience per single kill, unless, unless your teammates will tag enemy before being killed, then each teammate will add on top of that, so basically if you have three teammates and you all hit the one enemy, you can get way more than 4k. You can easily get over 10k experience, but that's a different story. I have a video on that, so will not go again. You can see all my buffs, all my mutations, uh, all, all my gear, of course, and yielding with one intelligence on it. That's essential. The apparel is under armor with free intelligence, so that's casual shielded. All of that is running, all of the buffs available. And now let's show me the perfect puffing and speed running. Oh, uh, the perks, in case you don't want to check other guides. This is my current experience loadout. What's important, demo expert is in here. Nothing special in, in there, apart from intelligence. Yeah, intelligence, as much intelligence as possible. You want as much as possible. Now you start like, that's my perfect puff. I start from in here. First, we are stacking adrenaline. Yes, adrenaline will increase the damage from grenades. As you can see, I have enough boost as I'm getting 4000 experience per single super mutant kill. So that's how I know I have enough boost. If I would be getting less, then I need more buffs. But I am getting my 4k, so that's perfect. That's 4k per kill. We are stacking adrenaline all those super mutants on the approach. The whole clear with grenades takes under a minute, depending how fast you are, it can be a little bit longer, slower. Okay, here, first grenade aiming at the middle, toss it in there, run, hopefully don't get hit, 24k experience. This grenade, aim in there, toss it, run, another 18k, now opening this door, and this is a little bit more tricky if you want to absolutely maximize. You go sneak, get your grenade ready, open this door, toss grenade into this rubble, get in, press the button. You will not get damaged by the grenade if you do that. It will be hard to observe how much experience is there will pop for a second, probably after a fast travel. Yeah, there was, and I leveled up already. And why you go this way? Because you are underneath and then you can shoot those extra super mutants that are always spawning here. Clear them, I do recommend, if you want to make sure you spend enough time, go and check all other super mutants. Then when you're done with the basement, don't go back through the elevator as it's causing some glitches, still causing some glitches in the instance. I do recommend to fast travel outside. And then you run to repeat the process as well. Very important information. You can probably notice I'm using one star elder smart. The reason for that is, as of today, it can change in the future, but as of today, Elder Smark and all other weapons basically carry all their effects into the grenade. So bloodied effect carry over and 60% armor penetration for armor piercing receiver carry over. So my Nuka grenades are bloodied with armor piercing. So that's how those Nuka grenades are so incredibly effective. So over 1000 damage, that's the damage before adrenaline. Let me show you after adrenaline application. And how do I know when I need and replenish my buffs? It's basically wherever I will start getting less than 
4k experience per kill it means that i need to check buff and add some more buffs that's how it works less than 4k experience refle ref refresh your buffs yeah it's super mutant give me the adrenaline as i need to showcase the damage of the armor piercing blooded nuka grenade which is indeed insane okay now that's the damage 1364 damage blooded armor piercing nuka grenade and now let's say if we can repeat and get a good amount again 20k it will slightly fluctuate depending when super mutant plays themselves then can be out of range so it's not exactly always the same it can be plus minus but it is a lot and now so i will make sure you can see the damage so i will toss a grenade but i'm not using elevator so you can see 40k from this grenade toss so that's like 60 70 up to 80k experience done in one minute and then you wait outside after clearing basement so you have about 100k experience every two minutes i would i would say it's good i would say it's good you can have a lot of experience, really a lot of experience. If you need to recheck any guides, how to get your intelligence up for all the buffs, how to stack it all together, how to get 4K, check a pinned comment. It will be down there. I will put all the guides together so you can find them. And that being said, thank you a lot for watching and I wish you a perfect grinding season during this double experience weekend happy fifth anniversary to follow too and that being said see you all in the next one